So, Chris Hemsworth confirms the Transformers 1 trailer drops next week. I didn't even know that this was a thing. I didn't even know that this was coming up. I didn't even know that this was obviously been in production for at least a while, hasn't it? If there's a trailer coming. I think they announced it a little bit before that shitty Beast Wars movie the came out. Beast, yeah, okay. I, again, I didn't I didn't. They were going to call it happened. Minus One, but some other fucking movie. Yeah. <laughs> well, see, yeah, I, I feel like they, I do with that title. I do kind of feel like they're trying to feed off the... Nah, know, it was called that. It was always called that. Was it? Yeah. Okay. So basically... From and that I... image is um, from the Netflix show. So that's not the right. same image. That's not yeah, the right yeah, image. Yeah. Well, it doesn't even look like Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> That's how it, good the makeup is in this movie. It's, it's like live Garfield. action. It's live I action, know. obviously. Chris Hemsworth's in it, or is it? Uh, no, I think he's voicing Optimus. Oh, okay. So it is. Um, yeah, because uh, what's her name? Scarlett Johansson. Uh, is she a leader one? Maybe oh, no. I see. I'm sorry. He Optimus. Yeah, no, nah, it's enough for me. I, I, I hate Crims Hemsworth. I think he's a fucking Hollywood Crims. sellout piece of shit. You, you hate you, Crims Hemsworth? I've hated him. Yeah, <laughs> ever since I read that interview with him, where he was. I hated him like ever since he took the ago. fucking role in Home and Away that I was going for. I was a fucking chew in for that role. But no, he had to come in with his fucking shirt off and what, everything. The, the I could have played him. You were gonna yeah, be dude, I was, not, dude, I was cast for Kim. I was, that was me. But he had to come in and steal my fucking role. All right. About so two, so three I'm, years ago, he did this interview with. Um, I can't remember who, but at one stage they talked about the upcoming Furiosa movie. And when I read his statements, I'm like, it's on on site, Chris. It's on on fucking site. Like, if I ever see Chris Hemsworth, thing. I'm going to fucking punch him. Nah, <laughs> you won't. I will fucking break. I will fuck no, you, you up, Chris you Hemsworth. Like, I will fuck you up! You love him fuck in Chris fucking Hemsworth. Ghostbusters. <laughs> He's Fuck Hemsworth! Guy. Liam He's Hemsworth a... number one! Nah, Chris Hemsworth is the greatest... Isn't there a third Hemsworth, Hemsworth brother? I think there's like four of them, actually. There's four, <laughs> there's four <laughs> of them, Jesus. There's so yeah. fucking oh. many of them! They're like Dude, if, if, if you hate Hemsworth so much, why do you keep watching the Furiosa trailer? Yeah, yeah remember her. I'll fucking kill you. You watch remember it so many her. Times, I want to see emojis in the it. chat, members. Remember her. Mo I believe it when Moza jumps off the Dude, I thought that was a black bitch! Yeah, That's no, so, okay, so we got, this is what it says. Chris Hemsworth and Brian Tyree, I think it's how it said. Um, Henry, Cher Howe. Sorry, i got to read it over here because I keep reading up there. Um, Transformers 1 will be an origin story for Optimus Prime and Megatron. So it's going to be on Cybertron. They're brothers. They went to the, they went to the same school. They were best well, friends, but then there was a falling out. You'd think that would be the case, wouldn't you, Moza? If it was an origin story of those two characters, it's got to be set on Cybertron, oh. right? There was a Ryan Pratt, I wonder so whether or Megatron not they're going to actually do that. Oh, you you're sounding imagine? smug, so I think you already know the answer. No. I don't. I don't. I'm just oh, saying, like... They, so they smug go, about it, go, Hang on. No, because <laughs> the reason why I'm so smug about it is because you would think that that's how they would do it. And follow the law of it. Yes, but and they all still of that. might. But they, but, they but the, still might. But it's, there's a very good chance that they won't, based on mm. everything else that they that Hollywood seems to get their hands on when it comes to things like this, where it's actually got deep lore and canon and continuity to it, and all of that sort of thing. I mean, don't make this about should... Star Wars. Do no, not no, make it, this about Star Wars. No, no. I do always talk about Star Wars, and that is a good example for it. But you bought it up, not me. But there's other things like Lord of the Rings, right? Like Star Trek. Fallout New Vegas. Well, there you go. There's another. I haven't seen it, but there, there's another one. The Witcher. They right? nailed Halo, Every, though. You got to admit everything, that. Everything Halo. There's another one. Everything that they get their hands on, and they start to continue a story, or go even if they go back in time, like this, right? Tell an origin story. They tend to fuck it up. Anyway, let's take a listen. Like, this guy looks so... Gay. Oh, Gay. Oh. It's a lady with a beard. Um, <laughs> That's why I thought it was with the Goldberg. suit as well? They, these people are, like... They, okay, another thing that I just want to wow. point out, based Ooh. on the fact that this is, this is, like, them on, like, a red carpet event or something like that, right? No, it's not. Well, whatever it is. 
these people always look like the fucktards from like Hunger Games. You know the 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 people in the, the in the capital, the, the capital and people? the sponsors. They always wear these outrageous, stupid-looking fucking things. They look like absolute dorks and retards and fats. That's all they fucking look like. Wow. The day is mine. I'll take famous titties for four hundred. It's, it's, it's a bit homophobic. You guys said it's, it's it last week. It's almost as if they base those characters I never said on what it people dress life. like. I don't like that word. Yeah. yeah. It offends him because he's gay. Hmm. Lethal's gay. I'm, I'm very pro bundle sticks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you hate lethal now? All right, let's play. Let's play this. Let's play this. Let's listen. It's the origin story of these characters. You know, historically, we know them as mortal enemies, and um, and this is them as their younger selves, uh, the, the bond, the connection, the friendship that was formed initially, and then the journey oh to their, the demise of their friendship, I guess, which was this fun. is not the one you want to be showing. Expectations and put something different and fresh, and this kind of the appeal to doing So, it. so they were best buddies. That's what they're going with. They're going with okay. their best buddies. They, want okay. they weren't mortal enemies then. Well, he's they actually right. They were friends. No, no, yeah. They were yeah, friends. Were friends. That's, That's true. Yeah. yeah, they were friends. They were friends. They were, yeah, comrades. Very close um, friends. Yeah. Um, so if Chris Hemsworth is voicing Optimus, that means that this... Oh, I want to say it again. Um, this dumb cunt is... Um, Don't use a hard R. This dumb cunt is playing uh, or voicing Megatron? Is that is that what I'm... I, I don't know. Assuming? Wow, you see a black guy and you automatically assume he's the bad guy? Yep. Wow. Do you have a problem with that, Grant? You've been hanging out with Yellow Flash too long. So are you saying that Megatron stole <laughs> yeah. all that Energon? All that Energon is stolen? Yeah. Is that what you're no. saying? Yep. He shot some Obviously. bitches on his way out as well. Obviously. Um, Obviously. Thing, like, the wrong that last hood. part's actually real though. That last part's true. Yeah. This is the weird thing that I was saying. Like, Because I'm saying they're going they're going with that thing where they were friends. I thought this was supposed to be a fresh new take. No, it's no. origin story. It's origin story. Yes, but they said uh, like, that's what they said initially. It's going to be a new take on the origin story of them. what, like rebooting okay. like the entire fucking franchise, basically. It's called a Hollywood retcon. Yeah, I don't know if you know this, but they love to do that. Mm. Yeah, that's what I was saying about them like being on. So I don't um... believe for one second it was it's going to stick to the original storyline. Yeah. Anyway, I, I'm only curious to ask whether or not he is voicing that character because I want to hear what he sounds like. Because mm. both of these characters have very unique voices, right? Now, obviously, they can do a little bit of work behind the scenes with the voices. They can make him sound yeah. closer to what the characters actually sound like. But they've still got to have some sort of similarity. Like, I think about it and I'm like, does Chris... No, they don't. Look really at Mario. Dude, look at yeah. Mario. Yeah, nothing like, nothing like it. I, I haven't yeah. even watched that Mario movie. Oh, me to be neither. Honest. Yeah, and also, you know, it's a CG animated version. We're used to the 2D animated or the the live action. So this one, we decided to do something different. It also takes place on Cybertron, so there's no humans. Okay. You can actually, see the world with which they originated, but you also just really get to see the camaraderie and brotherhood between Optimus Prime and Megatron, which. In over 40 years, we haven't had a chance to see. So this time, you know, our wonderful director, Josh Cooley, came in, cracked it wide open, put me and Chris, you know, behind the wheel. See what I did? This is Transformers. Fast and Furious. Oh, you see what I did there? I said behind the wheel. Formed us Transformed into us the into. The so, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but that's it. We just wanted did, to Did you say it was the first time in 40 years they were going to see Cybertron? No, it's the first time in 40 years we're going, like, to the... You gotta see them like when they were friends. Yeah. Right. Okay. Did in the original like animated like cartoon Transformers cartoon did that we saw them on Cybertron, no. but we oh, never yeah, saw yeah, them. But, them but we friends. never saw them as friends, right? No, yeah. that was added later. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The first oh, episode the is them it's leaving been, Cybertron. Yeah, it's been so long, man, since I've watched that. Fuck. The last time I watched that fucking series, I was a fucking kid. And do I don't think even think do, I ever... do you think do you think Megatron will be a gun or a jet? Jet. It's all on side. It'll be a jet. It's a jet. Yeah. Yeah. In a completely Maybe a tank. He allows us to actually do more. Like the uh, games. War. Nah, but he didn't become a tank until well after the jet. No, no, no. Well, Sometimes like, they show him as a tank. Yeah, but the games. 
the games had him as a tank. Really? So, what on yeah. Cybertron? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't even seen him in the tank in the games though. Was he tanking any of the? In some of them, he's both. Yeah. Fuck you, I'm Megatron. Oh my god, he's a trans transformer. Robots in disguise. He's the meme. Elevated in a completely different way, CG allows us to actually do more uh, with the world of Transformers and also to just have Oh, a that's movie. never a good side. That's no. never good. <laughs> okay, that's the first red flag. Uh, it's really epic. It truly is epic. The action scene. Amada was in the tank. The characters themselves. Um, it's really an epic, epic film. I gotta ask, do, like, are you able to look this up maybe quickly, Lethal? The person that did the Beast one, whatever the fuck that was called, um, the movies or the series? No, no, the movie. That oh. recent movie that came out that's fucking, I haven't watched. Um, is anyone that was involved in that involved in this? I don't think so. I think it's like its own separate thing completely. Again, because no, the sequel can, that can only to be that good. one. That can only the sequel, be a good thing. The sequel to that one's the one where they're bringing in G.I. Joe. Mm -hmm. They're doing that Hasbro I universe. The... I thought G.I. Joe was separate. I thought that was. Nah, separate. they're doing, they're doing like this Hasbro universe thing. Soundwave is awesome. I agree with Wait, that. Wait, does that mean that they're bringing? Does that mean the Rock's going to be in Transformers then? Probably. <laughs>